Uh, now, Rob McClellan, let's talk about him um, and we'll start with um, how Julia Gillard dispensed with him. I want to thank Robert McClellan for his many years of service in the Ministry. Robert will be taking up a position as a backbencher. In the very brief discussion I had with the uh, Prime Minister earlier this morning, she indicated a factor in her decision uh, to remove me to the backbench was that she believed I had gone further in my public statements uh, than others uh, in their advocacy uh, for the leadership of Kevin Rudd. And he went on to say he went further because he thought the attacks on <coughs> Kevin Rudd were over the top. So if he went over the top, hey, you know, can't you understand why I did it? What do you think of that? Inter interestingly, he also though um, told colleagues before the public announcement that uh, he had told the Prime Minister he would prefer her to remove him to the Ministry rather than him going himself, um, suggesting that she'd actually given him an option to resign, which is quite an interesting little subplay in the whole thing. But there was a little bit of nervousness actually. Most people thought, you know, look, you know, in, in the broader analysis, there's no risk chance that he will actually pull the pin on his parliamentary career altogether, tip Labor into mm. a by-election, and um, and that won't happen and, and chaos. Um, they, there was some nervousness for a couple of hours there in the middle of the day, but then by the time he actually stood up, they were pretty confident in senior kind of labour circles that he would stay. Well, in fact, he said he was not only not going to pull the pin, but he thought he might have a future ministerial career. Yes. So, you know, he lives in hope. And the McClellan family are steeped in Labor Party history, aren't they, Dennis? Oh, absolutely. You, you wouldn't yeah. think he'd want to be remembered for creating the by-election that might bring the whole show down. No, well, he, his, his father is, is pretty old but still alive, and I don't think he'd be able to face his father if he did something to harm the, the Labor Party.